Hi kings and queens and welcome to my very first ever makeup tutorial for YouTube. I've had my YouTube channel up for quite a while now. I want to say about two years and this is my first ever YouTube video. I'm excited. So today I am going to be doing two different looks and I'm going to show you my little routine on how I get ready. So I am, I have just did my brows before I came on camera. I also primed my eyes and I like to, before I don't like to do the bottom half of my makeup until I have done with my eyes because um, sometimes if I'm working with really highly pigmented or really colorful looks, they can mess up my foundation, um, you know, discolor it, and it's really hard to cover up sometimes. So I just said, what the hell with it? I'll just start doing the top half from eyes up, and then after my eyes are done, I'll do the lower half. So I want to start, I've already concealed foundation and everything up here, so I'm going to take some of this Airspun powder. It's got my powder in it, but it's, <laughs> and it's also got my pop socket on it. It fell off my phone. This is my Airspun powder in, um, shade, it's just translucent, I guess. And I'm going to pop that right in the middle where I placed my concealer. And right here on my nose. I don't like to go overboard and then I'm going to pop from underneath here. I know I don't have foundation on yet, but it's just to prevent it from, I still deal with some fallout and it's just to pre prevent that from happening. And you know, when I go to lay down the foundation and do my routine, it won't discolor it or anything like that, especially when I'm dealing with black shades. Next, I'm going to be dipping, I think today I'm going to dip into an array, a plethora of palettes, if you will. I'm going to be dipping into the James Charles X Morphe palette. It's a very colorful look. Well, a very colorful palette. I might just use this. I definitely recommend you buy this. It's very much loved. You can tell I've hit pan on a few shades, the white, black, and the yellow. It's very, very loved. I think I'm going to use this palette. I will also be using the um, Be Perfect. This is also another love. I mean, this isn't Be Perfect. This is Beauty Bay. This is also a well love palette. And it is an all matte, sort of like a rainbowy palette. It's got an array of colors. I love this. It's one of my go to if I'm doing a creative look, which, if you want to follow my Instagram, it's at Ambitious Drew. You can actually go on there and see what I've done with this palette especially for all my Halloween looks. So I've done that, I will be using this as well. And what I like to do, since some of you guys are new to my channel, I like to do one side, one eye, you know, colorful, really crazy, and then the other eye kind of like toned down, or maybe I'll do another crazy look. It just depends. I never do anything really the same. I do it, do it, you know, occasionally sometimes, but I don't really like to keep it the same. I like to just, I don't know, I'm kind of crazy like that. So first, I'm going to take a, um, if I can find it, my brushes are kind of everywhere right now, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, and I don't have a favorite brush, damn it. Okay. So I'm going to take this brush, it's from Morphe. Where's Morphe at? You can see it's from Morphe. And I'm going to be dipping into this dark purpley shade right here we're really gonna get in there and i'm gonna use the right side of my eye and i'm just gonna just kind of start stamping it in there on my outer v and i want to kind of just try to cover my whole lid And definitely go in circular motions just to kind of soften up the edges and to blend it out. And you're going to take it all the way, you're going to drag the color all the way down here to the start of your eye. And 
Who's some of your guys' favorite makeup artists? I have quite a few. Um, Jackie Ina is one of my favorites. Um, I really appreciate her a lot. Um, she has definitely done a lot for the beauty community, especially people like me who are black. She's definitely paved a way for more diversity, especially for my darker skin sisters. And um, I really fell in love with her. She's one of the reasons that I got into makeup. I also am a huge fan of M.M. Mitchell's look. I think that's how you say his name. Um, he is awesome. He's one of the reasons why I got into makeup. Um, Manny M.U.A. is one of the reasons I got into makeup and why I have a huge love for it. Um, James Charles, of course, just because he's just... his. His talent is unreal. I think he really changed the game when it came down to makeup. He really did. He changed the game. So did Patrick. And um, I'm a fan of Marlena from Makeup Geek. If it wasn't her, we wouldn't have a beauty community. And I think that's amazing. If it wasn't for her, Michelle Vaughn and Candy Johnson and Nikki Tutorials, we wouldn't have a beauty community. And the same goes for Jackie Ina as well. If it wasn't for those ladies... We wouldn't have a beauty community. So a huge shout out to them. And next I'm going to go into... Hmm, this one's kind of tricky. So I think I want to... I kind of want to do blue, but I want to do pink. So I think I'm going to go in with this kind of... This pink color here. And I want to use a little bit of color at a time. And this is a technique that I learned from watching Emma Mitchell. I'm going to go in with a little color at a time, and I'm just going to pick an isolated spot, like here, and I'm going to just kind of softly blend both the dark purples and the pink together. And a huge trick when you're doing eyeshadow, um, you kind of want to learn the shape of your eye. That's a, definitely a big step is you want to learn the shape of your own, your natural eye. And you want to get down your foundation color and your um, concealer color. And also your contour. And I would say practice, you know, practice makes perfect. Are there any tips that you guys could give me? Because I still learn too. And I, one thing I do struggle with is um, good contour products. Um, that's one thing I do struggle with. I find myself using a lot more um, eyeshadow shades as contour. Instead of um, actual contour palettes. Just because some of the contour palettes that I have, um, they're very, like, almost gray color. Or they're, like, a really orange or red. And I just want something that's going to make me have, like, a chiseled cheekbone. You know what I mean? Like, one that the Dolan Twins have. Like, a chiseled-ass cheekbone. And this video may not be edited because I don't know how to edit. <laughs> I'm going to be honest about that. I don't know how to edit and I'm filming this on my iPhone. And this iPhone quality is amazing. You see how I'm starting to deepen up the color? I'm going to take it all the way down here. Maybe I should so you guys can see sorry about that and i'm dipping into the beauty bay eyn bright matte palette that's what it is it's an all matte rainbow kind of palette Yeah. 
I'm sorry if you hear any noises. Like I said, I really don't know how to edit. If you guys can give me any tips on how to edit, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. take the previous brush that I was using if I can find it. My head is just falling from this brush. Oh no, it's right here. And I'm gonna dip into that dark shade, purple shade that we were using. And just kind of blend those two colors together. And I might just do this a few times. Even, even lighter pink and I'm gonna take hmm, I don't know what I want to do maybe I should do a different color like a yellow we'll do a diff we'll do a light yellow color this clustered yellow color right it's called clustered cream we'll take that color and we'll just go and soften up the edges of the yellow oh it's almost like a shimmery shade Wow, I might have to use something different. I'm going with a different yellow. Can you see that blend? That's kind of what we're working for with this one. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that pink.
back in with some purple. like that. Go back in with the pink. And we're going to go in with some yellow. Now I'm going to take a darker purple, just because I want it to be a tad bit darker. And I think I want to wing it out a little. How you're going to want to do that is when you wing out a color, especially like a dark one, you're going to want to find your outer V. Mine's right here. And then you should have a natural curvature. So how I found mine is I just look up. Put my head down, look up, and just... You know? I think I might add a little bit of blue right here on the outer V because I'm going to take it and drag it down here. So I'm taking a dark blue and from this palette. It's called Stormy Night. 
I just went on my lower lash line. Blending it up. Now I'm going to take a smudge brush like this one so and I'm going to finish the rest of my lower lash line with this color. I like to pack it before I blend. Like so. I like to just pack the color there before I blend it. From the next card, by. And then I'll start blending it. Especially on the crease that I have on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a lighter blue. and softly start to blend. Get in there. I'm going back in with that purple. I'm laying more color down. that pink and Mama -ma Mitchell takes the color out to his temple so that's what I'm going to be doing Do the same with the yellow. Just kind of go over my brow a little. Okay. 
Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to keep going, you know, back in and back through with the colors that I want. This is the purple. Now I'm going to begin and I'm going to start cutting the crease. I'm going to take, I don't think that's my crease cutting brush. Nope, this is, this is just a paint brush and I use this to cut my crease with. It's just a little flat little brush and it's easy to use. I'm just gonna take some of my foundation. I'm gonna use that to cut my crease with. Just like that. Just like that. Now I'm going to take some of that purple and I'm just going to soften up that edge where my crease is. Where I've got the crease, sorry. Right here. V palette by Morphe and I think I'm going to use hmm, probably this little color here I don't know you can see it it's because the Sun's blocking hmm, I don't think I'm gonna use that color I might not even use this um, maybe I'll play with some glitter That's what I'll do. I'll play with some glitter. I'm going to use some adhesive.
and play with some glitter. I put the adhesive down. Now I'm going to take another art supply brush. I'm going to dip into a glitter pigment pot. And I'm going to put this on my eye. See that? I love that color. That's what it's looking like. Now I'm gonna pick out a highlight color. I'm gonna dip into my BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna dip into this, it's more of like a yellowy highlight color. I'm gonna put this on my inner corner of my eye. See how pigmented that is. I'm gonna take a little packing brush like this. I'm gonna do that. Ooh, I love that pigment. Next, I'm going to take my Makeup Shack Rainforest palette, and I'm going to dip into this sort of like a golden, and it reminds me of like a canary, like bling color. Oh yeah, you can see that. And I'm gonna go over that yellow with it. Just to make it bling and just highlight it up a little. See what I mean? Just to Highlight it up a little. A little highlight. I use my fingers too to blend, so don't judge me. I like that a lot. Now over here, I think I'm gonna keep it just really simple because I put in a lot of work over here. So I think I'm gonna keep this one really simple. And I'm just gonna jump into my James Charles palette and I think I'm just gonna use the rest. I'm just gonna use these shades for that. And I think I'm going to use this little brown shade here as a transition color. And I'm gonna transfer that into my crease. It's more like a burnt orange shade almost. I should probably go 
it off the air. <laughs> Sparkles and whatnot, you know. Then I'm gonna jump into here. And I'm gonna take this dark brown shade, and place that in there too. Sorry, got the hiccups. Hold your breath for 10 seconds. It um, helps alleviate the hiccups because it's your diaphragm. A little unknown fact about me. I'm currently going to school to be in the medical field. I am a college student. I'm 22. I'm going to school to be a radiologist. I already have one degree. I have a business degree, but unfortunately, business degrees nowadays they don't really get you far. So I decided to change course of study and hop into the business field. And for me, radiology was the only logical solution because I could, you know, I can see. You know, I'll have to see some strange things definitely on a monitor, but it's not like working in an ER or whatnot where you're going to see crazy, crazy stuff. And I can't handle seeing a broken limb. Can't handle seeing someone's eye popped out of socket, which has happened to me once. But I definitely could not handle seeing that. Mm, it looks really good. <laughs> now I'm going to take this lighter brown shade and a little bit of these two and go over the top of that brown shade that I just placed here. I definitely want this to be like a brown kind of look. Ooh, child. Lord have mercy. I lost my brush. I guess I shouldn't use that shade. I think that's a sign. I'm very spiritual. I was going to use this little dark shade here, but I'll just continue to use this one. I'm very spiritual, honey. I feel like that was a sign, so... Now I'm going to take my Be Perfect X Stacy Marie palette. And I'm going to use this brown here and also this shimmer shade. Sort of like a, yeah. I'm going to use those colors. I just like to use a symphony of colors. I love color. I love makeup because it's definitely an art. I'm 
sorry if I'm not too talkative, but for me, makeup, I have, I just, I use a lot, I just concentrate a lot when I'm doing my makeup. So I apologize if I'm not really being talkative. Now I'm gonna cut my crease. to jump right into that Stacy Marie palette shade. It's definitely really pretty. I'm sorry if you hear that. I think that's my landlord outside my house fixing something. shade from that palette called Center. I'm just highlighting my brow bone. Sorry, that's sunlight. You can barely see anything. Now I'm going to wipe off the excess powder. And I'm going to finish the rest of my foundation routine. So I'm gonna take my foundation, which is Maybelline. It's a little lighter for my complexion. Um, I got it because I'm biracial and, ooh, I think that's a little too much foundation. And, ooh, just knocking everything over. I got it because I'm biracial. My kabuki brush broke, so you'll have to, this is really ghetto, but whatever, it works. Um, and in the wintertime, I live in the Midwest, in Illinois, and in the wintertime, black people start getting lighter. <laughs> But, you know, everybody's got a summer shade and a winter shade. But hot damn, did I pick the wrong winter shade. Because I don't think I've ever been this light before. have any lashes to put on either so we're skipping lashes and I'm not doing the bottom eye of this I'm not gonna do the lower lash line on this eye the left eye I'm not taking it into my neck because I have eczema and as you can tell, I'm dealing with that here, so I don't want to irritate it even more. 
Now I'm going to take my concealer, which is by Maybelline as well. It's the Adri one. It's damn near gone, but it's one of the best concealers. It's one of the best concealers I've ever used. Now I'm going to take my translucent powder and begin baking my face. Every time I flip and film, there's some kind of noise. It don't matter what time of the day it is, there's always a noise. There's always something going on, so I apologize. I know I look crazy right now, but I promise it'll all come together. So now I'm going to take my contour brush, if I can find it. And what I do is, I do, in order to contour, I take the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I dip into these two shades here. Mostly this one. And this one just for some depth. Do the same on the other side. Now I'm going to take my um, Juvia's Place Sahara Blush Palette, Volume 2, and I'm going to dip into this little bronzing shade here and go over the top of that. blend until your heart's content. The reason I take it down here is because I don't like the harsh contour line. And I also use the powder to help wipe away that excess powder, translucent powder. I'm gonna dip into some more of that. Get me some more contour. I'll also do the same on this side. Get rid of all that powder.
scared to contour my nose a little. Kind of just have to work with what you have, you know. There we go. Now I am going to um I guess add some highlight. I think I'm gonna skip blush for today. I'm gonna add some highlight. On this side I'm gonna go in with the center highlight and the Stacy Marie palette. I'm really gonna get in here, sorry. I love, I'm a highlighting whore. I love highlight. Why is it so pinky? Hold on, let me do a different brush. <laughs> let me get a different brush. I think I, something happened here, something happened here, okay. Starting to show up. Okay. I think I'm gonna skip that one. Okay, we're gonna skip that one. And I'm gonna go in with Radiance. On the BH Cosmetic palette. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there we go. Just a highlight, you know what I mean? And blend your damn makeup, please. No harsh lines. Cause child. BH has some of the best highlights. I'm gonna take a little bit of glow from that palette. Just to add some more brightness to it. Hmm. Here I'm gonna add, hmm, probably go in with this highlight here. Just because I do have some pink on that side. I don't know why I keep closing the palettes because I'm going to go back in them. Mm. Sorry, I love highlight. <laughs> this makes me so happy. This is so therapeutic. Closing my palettes because the last thing that I want to do is lips. Now with lips, I have a I have something that I've been doing since I started makeup, which and you know other people do it as well. And I'm going to take I basically call it contouring my lips, where you take the darker color and kind of line your lips, and then take a lighter color and blend the two together. So really a damn train
I'm gonna start blending it. This liquid lips is from Wet n Wild Beauty. It's in shade Caramel Cake. Very fitting. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of my foundation as a lighter shade. stippling brush. This one's a little beat up. to take a the hell the damn thing go okay I'm gonna take this color place it in the middle Now I'm going to take this little light nude pink, just place a little bit there. Now I'm going to take, this is a... Um, I call it a gloss, but it's a high shine lipstick, but it, for me it's a gloss. It's by Wet n Wild, it's my go-to, it's called Sun Nudes. And I just put it right in the middle. And just take my brush and blend. I'm going to take some of this gloss, place that in the middle. Oh, hell no.
This is the finished look. Without any lashes. My damn brows, you see, I need to start using brow gel. My damn brows don't stay down. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, share my content, subscribe, follow my YouTube, um, follow my Facebook business page, which is Young Drew. Follow my Instagram, which is Ambitious Drew. I believe that's my Twitter handle as well. So if you want to follow me on both of those, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. This is the finished look. I feel like it looks crazy because I have acne. I hate these little bumps, but we make do, sis. We make do. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless. I wish nothing but success and the best for everybody that took the time out of their day to view me and pay attention to little old me. Thank you so much. Have a great day.